Queen's coffin arrives at Edinburgh's Holyrood Palace, after leaving Balmoral. In a somber reception, the Queen's coffin has completed the first six-hour leg of its journey, with Princess Anne honouring her mum in a moving tribute. The coffin of Queen Elizabeth II has arrived at Holyrood Palace, with the monarch's children, Prince Andrew, Princess Anne, Prince Edward and his wife, Sophie Countess of Wessex receiving the casket. Earlier in the day, Princess Anne travelled with a cortege that transported the Queen's body from Balmoral to Edinburgh. As the coffin was carried into Holyrood Palace, the royal look appeared stoic and sombre. As the coffin approached the palace's entrance, the Princess Royal gave a deep curtsy in respect to her late mother. Her brothers, Prince Andrew and Prince Edward also bowed the Queen's coffin past the group. Draped in the royal stands of Scotland, the casket will remain in the throne room overnight, before it is taken to the nearby St. Giles Cathedral. Outside, thousands had waited along the Royal Mile for hours, as the cortege reached Holyrood. Silence fell at 10 a.m. as the Queen left Balmoral for the final time in a black hearse with white flowers picked from the garden placed on top of her coffin. She was first taken to the village of Balladder where crowds bowed their heads silently as the cortege containing a heartbroken Princess Anne passed. Other tearful royal fans also threw flowers in the path of the procession as a final goodbye. Tomorrow the King Charles III and Queen Consort Camilla will travel to Edinburgh, where Elizabeth II's oak coffin arrived today after a six-hour journey through Scotland. The black hearse carrying Her Majesty's body left Balmoral at 10 a.m., local time. White flowers picked from the garden were placed on top, with a wreath made of sweet peas, one of her favorite flowers, dahlias, phlox, white heather and pine fir. Mourners lining the streets outside Balmoral were silent in a show of respect as the procession made its way past. Princess Anne, her husband Admiral Sir Tim Lawrence the Minister of Craddy Kirk and a representative of the Lord Chamberlain's office were in the convoy following the Queen. It first visited the village of Balladder, where crowds again bowed their heads silently. The Queen spent her childhoods in the village while staying with her family at Balmoral. The route also took the coffin to Aberdeen, where tributes were paid in the city's Duffy Park, then Aberdeen, and ended in Edinburgh where Scottish political leaders including First Minister Nicola Sturgeon were ready to observe its final journey to Holyrood House. A sad and poignant moment as Her Majesty leaves her beloved Balmoral for the final time. Today, as she makes her journey to Edinburgh, Scotland will pay tribute to an extraordinary woman, M. Sturgeon posted online as the hearse departed. The Queen's coffin will remain in Edinburgh overnight. <laughs>
The route also took the coffin to Aberdeen, where tributes were paid in the city's Duffy Park, then Aberdeen, and ended in Edinburgh, where Scottish political leaders including First Minister Nicola Sturgeon were ready to observe its final journey to Holy Root House. A sad and poignant moment as Her Majesty leaves her beloved Balmoral for the final time. Today, as she makes her journey to Edinburgh, Scotland will pay tribute to an extraordinary woman, M. Sturgeon posted online as the hearse departed. The Queen's coffin will remain in Edinburgh overnight.